Welcome to Thriller Recaps. Today I will show you an American sci-fi thriller film called Time Lapse. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The film begins as we observe a painter named Finn trying to paint a painting in his flat he shares an apartment with Callie, his girlfriend, and Jasper, his best friend. Finn is also the property manager at that apartment complex, and Jasper is a gambler. Finn meets Big Joe, the apartment's security guard, that day and invites him to a house party the next day. Their landlord calls shortly after to inform them that one of their tenants, Mr. B, is two months behind on his payment. So Callie goes to see how Mr. B is doing. No one answers the door when she knocks. There's also a stack of newspapers in front of the door, implying that he hasn't been out in quite some time. Callie enters with the help of spare keys. Callie jumps in and whisks Finn and Jasper away to Mr. B's flat while they are conversing. They enter to see a wall covered in Polaroid photos of their living room. Mr. B had been photographing them from their living room window. Jasper believes he was watching them, yet there are also empty images of the room. Furthermore, several of the collection's photographs are missing. When Finn turns around, he notices a massive machine in the same room as him. A large camera appears to be focused directly at their living room window. It produces a Polaroid photograph. The coat rack from their living room is strewn everywhere in there. They believe the photographs on the walls were taken with this camera. Later, they're conversing in their flat when Callie knocks down the rack. The photo is a wonderful fit for the design of their living area, according to the group. The group notices that the camera appears to snap images 24 hours in advance. Suddenly, the camera shoots a self portrait They examine it to see whether it is the photo from the day before, when they were planning a house party. They're all in a state of shock. Jasper is still skeptical about the camera's ability to capture images from the future. Mr. B's journal states he saw his death through the camera, which Callie discovers. As a result, he intended to break the cardinal rule of time and causation. Finn checks the photos and discovers that they were all taken at exactly 8 pm however, there are some photographs on the wall that were taken throughout the day. Some of the photos on the wall have mysteriously vanished. He then travels to Mr. B's storage facility, where they discover his body. His face appears to be burned and decaying, yet his clothing appears to be in good condition. Jasper believes he died as a result of disobeying the cardinal rule. They've returned to their apartment, and Jasper recommends they gamble with the camera. Finn is skeptical, but Callie is enthusiastic. They host a house party that night. Finn walks to Mr. B's apartment and takes a picture at 8 p.m., while Jasper and Callie dance with the visitors. He compares the Polaroid photo to the one he took, and they are identical. A picture appears from the camera at that precise moment. He sees the three of them posing for the camera in the photograph, and a paper with the gambling results is taped to the window. The next day, Finn is still skeptical, but Kelly points out that if they do not follow the picture's instructions, they will be breaching the cardinal rule and will wind up like Mr. B. So Kelly begins watering Mr. B's plants and stealing his newspaper to give the impression that he is still at home. Finn stares at the picture's canvas and paints without needing to think of anything. In the meantime, every day, Jasper tapes the gambling outcomes to the window. After a few days, the group has made a lot of money by covering up Mr. B's disappearance. A week later, they receive a photograph with Jasper and Callie kissing in the background and Finn painting in front of them. Finn is disturbed by the image, but they must do what it instructs in order to follow the cardinal rule. As Finn paints, Jasper and Callie kiss that night. However, the kiss lasts too long, causing Finn to get enraged and envious. When he arrives at Mr. B's house, the new painting is already there. They see Ivan, Jasper's gambling bookie, sitting in their living room in it. Ivan is a vicious criminal, so the group is taken aback. Jasper is quite jittery the next day. As Callie and Finn go, he remains on the couch, waiting for Ivan. Ivan pays us a visit not long after that. He is dubious of Jasper's recent victories, so he threatens to reveal his secret to him. Ivan can ride on his gambles and leave them alone, Jasper assures him. Callie and Finn arrive shortly after, carrying the next day's photograph. Callie is naked in the photo, posing for Finn's painting while Jasper's silhouette watches them via the mirror. Ivan also takes a peek at the photograph before departing. Next day, Finn and Callie are getting ready to paint. Callie poses as Finn paints her, but they spot Ivan outside the window at exactly 8 o'clock. It turned out that the silhouette in the photo was Ivan. He and his thugs, including Marcus, threaten the group and discover the camera. They come to an agreement, and now the group must pose for photos with gambling results every day so that Ivan can place bets on them. He intends to make money from the camera. The group follows Ivan's instructions. For a few days, they provide him the gambling outcomes. Finn observes one day that the next day's image has a strange painting on it. On the painting, a hurriedly made skull and crossbones may be seen in this photo. Finn's painting style isn't typical. 
The gang believes that the future Finn is attempting to warn them of something, so the next day, Jasper is anxious and hides many weapons about the living room in case they are attacked. He uses his knife to practice stabbing. That evening, Finn runs into Big Joe, who has recently started working as a police officer, at the gate. Marcus, observes them from his car as they converse. Joe hands Finn his badge, he is now a police officer. When Finn returns to the room, he informs Jasper of what has occurred. Ivan and Marcus arrive there later, suspicious of Big Joe. They discover the police card and quiz the group about their ties to Joe. They have threatened to assassinate all three of them. Jasper, on the other hand, lies to him, claiming that he has seen tomorrow's picture, in which Ivan is slain by Marcus. This makes Ivan skeptical of Marcus, so he visits B's residence to examine the photograph and verify it for himself. Meanwhile, Jasper, as he had practiced, stabs Marcus. When Ivan returns, he discovers Marcus has been killed, and Jasper hits him with a bat, killing him as well. The bodies are hidden in Mr. B's storage unit by the group. They see that the new photograph depicts Jasper seated on the couch with a stack of cash in front of him. They have millions of dollars after taking all of Ivan's gambling money. And later that night, Finn advises splitting the money and fleeing the nation. The other two, on the other hand, are opposed to the proposal. Someone knocks on their door late at night. Dr. Heidecker, Mr. B's friend and colleague, is hunting for him. However, Jasper and his friends can't get their stories straight about Mr. B, so Dr. Heidecker threatens them with a gun and compels them to confess. Before his death, Mr. B had written her a note. In the letter, he informed her of the camera's success as well as his own death. He'd also emailed her a photograph. It depicts the group's living room, complete with Mr. B's hat in the background and blood splashed on the glass. He had seen the photo and believed he was about to die, so he went inside his storage container and shut himself inside. They take her to the unit, and Heidecker notices that Mr. B did not die as a result of the Cardinal's rule. He reached for the cupboard shelves and was killed as a chemical was spilled on him. It was purely coincidental. Heidecker also informs them that the photograph is from the future. Finn and Jasper are startled to see that the camera can take images up to 24 hours ahead of time, and the timer is always set to 8 p.m. Jasper shoots Heidecker with Ivan's gun, knowing that she is of little value to them. They take her body and hide it there before returning to their home. Finn holds Jasper responsible for the death of an innocent woman, Callie goes to look at the image for tomorrow at 8 p.m., while Jasper snaps the picture with the pile of money. Finn emerges from his room, his suitcase packed, ready to exit the scene. He goes to Mr. B's house, where Jasper and Callie are distraught. The following day's photo shows Callie and Jasper having sex while Finn sleeps on the couch behind them. Finn is enraged by this. Callie bolts from the scene. Finn then shows Jasper an engagement ring that he had purchased for Callie many years ago. Finn is talking when Jasper smacks him in the head, knocking him out. Finn is dragged to the storage unit and tied there. Jasper is determined to follow the camera's instructions, ensuring that the photo is taken regardless of the circumstances. Jasper then returns to his apartment to wait until 8 p.m. the next day. Finn wakes up the next morning in the storage container, where he burns the ropes and frees himself. He escapes the storage container by stealing the keys from Mr. B's pockets. He then goes to Mr. B's house with a bucket of water. From there, he calls Jasper and threatens to pour water on the camera. Finn is pleading with Jasper to let him in.
discovers bodies in the hall and takes Kelly away. Kelly walks away calmly, sure that once her former self reads the message she taped, the timeline will reset and everything will be fine. Joe leads Kelly out of the house to apprehend her. But the note she left falls out the window in the process. Joe pushes Kelly away as she attempts to run back to reattach the message. Before the image develops, the camera takes its 8 p.m. shot, and the movie cuts to black. Because this is predestination, Kelly cannot influence the outcome because the causal loop has already occurred and cannot be changed. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.